and hits close to home for local students trying to get into their dream school. News for Shamari Stone is on Georgetown's campus tonight with a look at how college hopefuls are reacting to this scandal. Shamari? That's right, Doreen. One of the coaches named in the indictment was the men's and women's tennis coach here at Georgetown University. He now works for another university. Tonight, we talk to local parents, students, and test prep instructors. They tell me that they're disgusted by all of this. It is. So basically, you add, you know, right? Like, you add the... Nicole Porcaro is a test instructor for No Anxiety Prep. I love what I do. I think it's extremely rewarding. Preparing high school students like Olivia Plotnick to take the SAT and ACT. The executive functioning skills, the study skills, the hard work are, are lifetime skills. Right now they're outraged. Federal prosecutors have charged at least 50 people, including two well-known Hollywood actresses, for allegedly lying and bribing to get students into elite colleges and universities. It's devastating. It's it's something that I think cheapens the experience of so many students who have worked hard. It cheapens the admissions process. We're talking about deception and fraud. Fake test scores, fake athletic credentials, fake photographs, bribed college officials. The controversy has a local impact. Gordon Gordy Ertz is one of the coaches named in the indictment. He was the head women's and men's tennis coach at Georgetown for 12 years, accused of taking millions of dollars in bribes. According to prosecutors, he was one of several coaches involved in the scam where wealthy parents paid to have their children's test scores and applications to elite colleges falsified and approved. I've worked so hard for so many months to try and get to my goal and knowing that people can just get in because of their parents and because of money is unfair. More importantly and more devastatingly undermines the work of hundreds of thousands of students. Now, Ernst resigned from Georgetown University last year. He now works at Rhode Island University. Live here at Georgetown, Shamari Stone, News 4. All right, Shamari, thank you.